Hi everyone. I want to start to prove some things about the pebble game with you. And before we do that, I want to make this definition. So here, H is a state in the pebble game. And by what I mean by that is H is a graph, V, E, it's a directed graph, and um, it has pebbles on the vertices. And I'm gonna make two definitions. One is what the out degree of a vertex is. So if we have a directed graph, then it, the out degree of a vertex is the number of vertices, or number of edges with tails at V. So the number of vertices pointing, uh, edges pointing out of the vertex. And pebbles V is gonna be the number of pebbles on a vertex. So what do I mean by a state? So for example, let me get my writing pen. For example, H might look something like this. So a starting state, what we initialize our graph to, maybe it has three vertices and we put two pebbles on each of the vertices. That's the initial state. Um, and I'm gonna name these vertices U, V, W. And let me do, run a little bit of the pebble game and then we'll start to talk about what these, what these definitions are for the state I end up at. All right, so let's say the first thing I want to do is insert the edge UV. So I check, are there two pebbles on U and two pebbles on V? Yes. So I can insert the edge. And then I'm gonna direct it away from U, which means that I have to take the pebble off U. So here we have like the second state of my pebble game. And now I'm gonna say, I wanna next insert the edge from U to W. Do I have two pebbles on U and two pebbles on W? Uh-uh. I only have one pebble on U, but I have an out edge. The out degree of U is one, so I can follow the edge away from you looking for a pebble. And I see a pebble on V that I can steal. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a pebble from V. I'm gonna turn the edge around when I bring the pebble to you. And I'll have it like this. And that's another state of the pebble game. And now I wanted to insert the edge UW and now I can do that and I direct it away from you, so I take the pebble away from you. <coughs> okay, so what do we have here now? Well, we can see that the out degree of U, well, there's one edge pointing out of U from U to W is one. The out degree of V is also one, and the out degree of um, the out degree of W equals zero. Ooh, and I wanted to, you know, I want to move those a little bit because I want to put something next to it. So I'm going to move that here, I guess. Okay. Now let's look at pebbles. Pebbles of U, well, there's one pebble on U. What's pebbles V? There's one pebble on V. And what's pebbles W? There are two pebbles on W. And so what we can see here is that the out degree of U plus the pebbles, pebbles U is equal to two. So one plus one is two. Similarly, out degree V plus pebbles V is two and out degree W plus pebbles W is two. And so the theorem that I wanna prove for you says, actually let's just call it a lemma, that this, this works for every pebble game state. So if H equals VE is a pebble game state, so in other words, it's a directed graph with pebbles on the vertices, that appears at some state in a pebble game that I'm running, so it's been accepted by the pebble game, then it must be that the out degree of V plus the number of pebbles on V is equal to two for every vertex V in V. So 
that's what we want to show. All right, so I'm going to sketch this proof um, and draw some pictures. And that, this should complement what you see in the text online. OK, so let's see. How would we prove something like this? Well, note that it's true when we initialize the game board. So what do I mean by that? Well, when we initialize the game board, we put down the vertices and we put two pebbles in e on each vertex and there are no edges. So then the out degree of every vertex is zero and the number of pebbles on each vertex is two. So this is satisfied at the beginning of the pebble game. And now the proof goes by showing after any of the kind of things you can do in the pebble game, either an edge insertion or a pebble search, it's still going to be true. Okay, so let's look at what happens when we have an edge, when we have an edge insertion. Okay, so the idea is to assume that before, let's think about what the game board looks bef like before an edge insertion. Well, if I can insert the edge, from some vertex u to search some vertex v, if I can insert it, it must mean that there are two pebbles on u and two pebbles on v, okay? Um, because that's what it means to be able to insert an edge, okay? So what does it look like afterwards? Oh, and so two pebbles on u, two pebbles on v, we're assuming that this was an accepted game, sort of by induction, essentially, that um, the out degree then for, for uh, u would have to be two. So it could have some vertices going, some edges going in, v could have some edges going in, but we're assuming that the small, the, the board we started, the board that before was accepted, um, and, it, and it satisfied the lemma that the out degree plus the pebbles for each vertex is equal to two. So if it has pebbles two, then the out degree has to be zero. So what's gonna happen after? Well, after we insert the edge, let's see, here's u, here's v. Here are the two little edges pointing in from before. Now what happens? I insert the edge from u to v, means, meaning I steal um, a pebble from u. And what's happened here? Well, at v, pebbles v and out degree v are both unchanged, okay? In fact, the only vertex where the out degree or the number of pebbles changes is vertex u. And what happens here? Well, the number of pebbles, we take what we took one pebble away but what did we do? We added one to the out degree, right? And so if we look what happened, the change is equal to zero, okay? So it had um, out degree plus pebbles, out degree u plus pebbles u2 before and after. All right, now let's see the other thing that can happen during the pebble game is a pebble search. So suppose we do a pebble search and before the pebble search, the lemma held. So out degree um, u plus pebbles u is equal to two for all vertices. So let's see what that might look like before Maybe you had one uh, pebble and some out degree positive dot, dot, dot. And eventually I find a pebble, okay? And we'll call this one, um, this vertex W. So what happens here? Well, during the, so I, this is what it looks like before. And then after, well, I must have searched from you 
eventually until I found a pebble, which is at W. And then what do I do? Well, I bring that pebble back to you, reversing all of the arrows that I use along this path. And so, oops, <laughs> still has this out edge, but there's no, now that I took that pebble from W, okay? So what happened? Well, all the way back at W, what happened? Well, I subtracted one from the number of pebbles, but I had that in edge to W that now goes away. So I added one to the out degree of W. So the change in pebbles and out degree is equal to zero. So if I had pebbles, w plus out degree w equals two before i still do now because i've subtracted one and added one at these intermediary vertices what happens well i can see that at an intermediary vertex the ones i had those arrows switched so i have an in arrow that becomes an out arrow and vice versa so i have an out in switch, I don't gain or lose any pebbles, and I have the same number of out edges as I did before because I, I just switched them in with an out, okay? And then at U, what happens? Well, at U, my number of pebbles increases by one, and my out degree decreases by one, and so my change is equal to zero. So again, if um, pebbles u plus out degree u was two before, it is still now because I've just subtracted one and added one. All right, so there's an important corollary that I want to finish with, and that's this. Um, so again, h is a pebble game state, pebble game state as before and v prime is a subset of the edges of v i guess i think i want v prime to be at least two and then e prime is equal to the set of edges of the induced subgraph of H on the vertex set V prime. So I look at, I look at the vertice, a subset of my vertices V prime. I take all of the edges in H that have end, both endpoints in V prime. And what I want to say is that in this case, then what's going to hold well, um, I'm going to write it like this and then tell you what it means. Pebbles V prime. So that's the sum of all the pebbles and all the vertices in V prime plus what I'll call out degree V prime plus the number of edges in E prime is equal to 2 N prime where here n prime is the number of vertices in v prime. Okay, so this is equal to the number of, oops, why did I put it there? This is equal to the number of pebbles on the vertices in v prime. This is equal to the number of edges pointing out of vertices in V prime, okay? So if a vertex, so, okay. So I claim this is equal to two N prime. And um, let's see why this is true. So, so let's see what's true here. Okay, so quick proof. Well, 
from above, the thing I just showed, I know that um, I know that if I look at pebbles v plus the out degree of v, I always get two for every vertex v, for example, in in v or in v prime. So what if I just restrict this and I sum over all the vertices in my set v prime? This is going to be two n prime. Okay. Now let's think about this. Well, this is equal to the sum over all vertices in v prime of pebbles v plus the sum over all vertices in v prime of the out degree of v. Now, the sum of pebbles v for every vertex in v prime is just this number of pebbles on the vertices in v prime. And now, when I think about the out degrees of the vertices in v prime, there are sort of two kinds of edges that start in v prime. There are the edges that start and end in v prime. The edges that start and end in v prime are the edges in the induced subgraph. And then there are edges that start in v prime and point out of it. And this is exactly what we call the out degree of v prime. Okay, so this is, these are edges starting and ending in v prime, and this is the number of edges with tails um, in v prime and tips outside of v prime. Okay, and so that's exactly what I wanted to show then that 2n prime is equal to the number of pebbles on the vertices of v prime, the number of edges in the induced subgraph, and the number of vertices pointing out. All right, I am going to stop this video and